we're going to Theros right now. I will attempt to defeat the Hydra this time. Hopefully it goes better than the last time. Uh, we got enough land in this hand that it will be worthwhile for me to keep the walking d corpse. I can spawn that fairly shortly, along with my wandering wolf. And hopefully get an early game advantage against the opponent. The Wandering Wolf can't be blocked by any cards that have a lower power rating than his, so that is his benefit on the field, even though he's a 2-1 card. But as long as his power is higher than any creature on the field, he can't be blocked. So it makes him such a great early game card. Now the Hydras are very hard to defeat since they have so many token abilities and hopefully I will be able to defeat the Hydras but they're very difficult to defeat at least for the way my deck is So how is everyone today? Oh, that was a mistake on my part. I left my board undefended now. Sadly, I should have saved those minions. But, uh... Surely I should be using my spider spawnings once I get enough minions in my graveyard. And then I can spawn spider tokens, one, two spider tokens on the field. And that should give me a card advantage, hopefully to counter a lot of the token monsters he's using.
going to spawn my spiders now to mitigate some damage from this Hydra. Spawning my siege worm now to hopefully do some damage to his health, but at this point, the hero's bane hydra is pro most likely going to kill me next turn. The card is out of control. As far as I know, I have no counter to it. Yeah, I'm dead. 32, 32. That's a good time. Holy shit. Oh, it has 64 attack now. I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that. Hydra is out of control. <laughs> out of control. 256, 256 attack. I'm so screwed. <laughs> If anyone has any pointers or tips on how to defeat the Hydra easier, um, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm using a black and forest style deck, Swamps. Swamp and forest. There's a thousand twenty four attack Hydra on the field. God damn. I'm gonna get wrecked here. I'll just have to keep blocking and then hopefully pull some kind of card that it can't use that card to block. Thousand twenty four attack, Hydra Pira. A thousand twenty four. <laughs> well, now it's a five thousand attack, Hydra. My bad.
10,000 attack Hydra. No shit. This would be like a 10,000 attack Hydra. I have nothing to kill it. I don't know what to do. Out of control. I'm just spamming spiders as blockers and hopefully I can get Grizzle Brand out that's flying so that they can't... He can't block the flyer. Yeah, but my black deck only has one or two... one removal card, Pura. And that card is... and I don't have, like, extras of it. So if I use that removal... He has, like, two of these hero beans or more, so... Even if I remove one, there's another one. And look, there's another one right now. I guess I gotta go farm uh, Enorsa or whatever and try to get some more. This isn't a random counter up here. This is, um, this is the Hydra boss that you have to fight. Oh wait, here we go. Creepy doll. Creepy attacks I can block with dolls. Sweet. Doll is indestructible and the doll is indestructible and when a creature attacks, you flip a coin and then when the coin is flipped, you have a chance to destroy the attacking creature. It's a form of board removal as well. The doll is only destroyable by a spell. Or an instant attack. So if I attack with the doll, he cannot do anything about it. He can't kill it. Hey look, Pyrrha, two 4,000 attack Hydras. Oh shit. <laughs> He's got 12,000 attack on the field. Jesus Christ. Hey, Pyrrha, but I got one of my creepy dolls on the field, so if he even attacks and I block with it, I can kill his uh, minion. Actually, I'm going to attack with my doll and then see if he uses a blocker. Oh, come on, coin flip. Take him out. Come on. Come on, hit. Come on! Yes! 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 <laughs> Creepy doll saves the day. Oh man, another Hydra. He can only have like three of these things though, at least. So he's got two more, and hopefully he'll use blockers. Up here, I have another one in my deck as well. I added two of them. 
Well, if I can pull another one and put it on the field, they're unkillable by him. He doesn't have any way, any sort of board removal from what I've seen. Only attack cards. So I should be able to easily defeat him. Let's use the doll again. Come on, block with the 4000 one, buddy. Um, no, Mustang. This is a computer. Come on, coin flip. Come on. You got this. No. Damn. No, Mustang, I'm, I don't have a lot of cards yet. So, well, Pira, I have my Grizzle brand on the field. So, see, with Grizzle, he's flying so and lifelink, so if I attack him, none of his Hydras can attack fly, block flying attacks. So technically, I could life leech shit tons of health. Here we go. Great sword. I'm gonna use my great sword and enchant my Grizzlebrand to give him plus three attack. And that will give him 10 attack and lifelink every time he attacks, I get his attack damage as life back. So with that, I should be able to do some serious damage to his health. And even if he does manage to block this, my doll, he risks killing his card. And here we go, he's going in for the block. And let's see what we got. Let's hope for the lucky coin flip, guys. He's dead! Pyrrha, yes goes his other Hydra. He's got 32 land cards on the field. It's nuts. Uh, here's another Hero's Bane Hydra he's putting out. Oh, let's go in for another attack. A he chooses to use his high hero's bane to block the creepy doll, and let's see what happens. A he's dead. Well, that was good, guys. 
We got the achievement Death from Above, 20 damage to a single opponent. And then we gain 20 life in a single duel as well. And right, let's see what the booster pack gives us, guys. Booster hype, guys. Booster hype. Oh, we got a Traveler's Amulet. Not the greatest card. That's kind of useful. Let's see if we got anything cool. Ah, uh, we got a Hero of Arosa. Rare. Nothing really too great. 